What's up guys, Stan Kosh and today we are taking a look at the Idle Research. That will actually be a let's play series I guess because I really like the game when I test it out for a few seconds so I want to I want you to know more about that game, so let's go into it, by the way, guys, before we start, let's load the save, uh, we just got through the tutorial, and uh, if you like idle incremental games, you would like to subscribe to this channel, because otherwise you might miss something cool, so I would be grateful if you will, and, like, it's a win-win situation, so don't miss out on that. So, yeah, this game is incremental, uh, like, full incremental game, like it should be, you create flasks here. Even here, like in the game, it said it's inspired by uh, amazing developers of Lava Flame 2 and Hell Fipe. Even here in this game, it says that it's inspired by these amazing developers, Lava Flame 2, Heavy Pal, 4G, and the guys who are making those fantastic games. So, though I, I played all of those games of those guys. So, yeah, it's a good one. Basically, what do you do? You create flasks, you research flasks, and... Uh, like, I'm ready for prestige, by the way. Let me in. Alright, there we go. We are into the game. Uh, grand. Nice. So, flask research. Requirement has been met. Let's start the research. By the research, you are unlocking the new flasks that are better. You can craft them. It's automatic process. I actually played the tutorial, like, uh, probably a few weeks ago before I went to Georgia. So, yeah, I don't remember things, so we'll have to learn it together here. Uh, different flags do different things. You can get several crafters. Let's buy one. So, the red flasks are your basic flasks that give you the research, the stuff at the left, the energy. The orange flasks produce red flasks for, so like, it's the second tier. Then there will be another flask that will produce orange flasks and so on, like normal um, mechanics of the incremental games. Now, uh, that's the basic things. You can get crafters, and crafters can craft your things. Each craft costs something, so you gotta balance it out, so you won't go negative on energy gains. Uh, how many we can get? We can get so many! Oh my god, guys, let's get more orange flasks. So, yeah. How much does orange flask cost? I have no idea. I think it costs... Yeah, it costs 10 red flasks. But, since it produces red flasks... But since it produces orange flasks, over time the gain of those red flasks will go higher. Something like that. On the right, here, you can see the gains and, uh, you know, the uh, drawbacks, like uh, the, the balance of your production, basically. Alright, now, the, you have accelerators as well. Those things, like, they boost your progression. So let's spend some stuff and spend energy, spend all of that, and uh, that actually inc increase the crafting speed. Now you can see how it goes faster. Uh, you can get the next tier of that, but you need some flasks for that, so I don't have enough, I guess. How do I see what do I have? Like, the inventory. Hmm. Probably that's on the right. So that's like 104... Thousand of orange flasks, so we should be able to go and unlock the next research. Oh, look at that! Bam! Research speed of of what? <laughs> of yellow flasks? I don't know. Crafting count. That's good. So this is crafting speed. This is research speed boost. This is a crafting count. So now it counts more flasks when it's doing it. So yeah, I unlock the new flask, the yellow. Let's go. Yellow flask, consume the orange flasks and crafts. Well, it crafts yellow flask that actually um, generates the orange flasks. That's how it goes. And yeah, in order to unlock the next uh, level of uh, accelerators, we need yellow flasks. I got it. So that's how it is. Let's do some upgrades, spend all the energy. You can actually put the multipliers here. So like how much do you want to spend on those clicks so you won't spend everything. I don't know if you need that or not, but it's there. Extras, let's see. Lab. Oh, whoa, whoa, go away. We don't need that. Um, AFK, lab. There we go. So here you can see what do you have, right? Normal items. So we have 2 million of red flasks, they're generating us energy, we got 100,000 of orange flasks that are 
making red ones stronger. I was wrong. It's not generating the red ones, but it's making them stronger and makes them generate more stuff. And yellow flasks, in turn, making the uh, orange ones stronger. So that's how it goes. They're kind of bucking the production of the previous tier. There's also unique golden flask that increases the crafting speed. We don't have those. And diamond flasks that are premium currency. All right, nice. So, uh, okay, okay, let's do some more crafting. I mean, we can get more crafters. No, we can't. Hmm. We need to do some upgrades then. So, research is underway. Uh, I don't want research speed. I want either crafting speed or crafting count. So, let's go for crafting count now and a little bit of crafting speed. That will be nice. We should have... No, we don't have enough. Hmm. So yeah, from here we just wait because the production is going and honestly I think we need to change a little bit more into the yellow craft because that will be more efficient because like red flasks, if we take a look, we have a lot of those. We have like 2 million so crafting a little bit more of those won't give us any good so we want to go for something different. In order to unlock the new flask to do the research you need to collect specific amount of the for now the top tier flasks. And that's what we need, basically. The yellow ones. We need 2,000 of yellow ones. And honestly, I think right now, crafting count uh, would be the most important upgrade. So let's go spend all our energy on that. That will allow us to boost this, the stuff and the research. All good so far. All good so far. How many red ones do we have? Oh, we don't have enough. Uh, Let's wait and unlock more yellow flasks. So what I will do, I will change the production to more yellow flasks so we can get them faster. We got some negative orange flask right now, so let's switch this one to orange then. And now we got negative on the red ones, but I think we will be okay because it won't change it that much. Moreover, that will guarantee us that we will get more yellow ones. And look at that, prestige is going up, so soon we'll be able to do the prestige. And that will allow us to... Get the golden flags that will improve our crafting speed. So that's pretty, pretty dope, guys. All right. What else we can do here? For now, nothing. We gotta wait. So let's do that. While we are waiting, let's go to the diamond shop. So basically, there are achievements here, right? When you finish the achievement, you get the premium currency flask, the blue one, the whatever, the diamond one. Uh, here, unlockables. So they kind of show you how it goes what you need to do um cool i like that so you know where to go for and like which is your next goal right now so that's fantastic dark flask Oof. so let's go for the upgrades and here you can spam those diamonds in order to get the crafting speed so let's do that bam bam uh that's triple crafting speed straight away so that's i think that's pretty dope so let's go back to crafting and see how it goes Oh yeah, it works pretty well. So we have enough of yellow uh, flasks now. Let's go and get the next tier of accelerators. Come on, can we? Can we do this? I'm not sure I can click it. 500 yellow required. We have that. Come on. Well, probably not straight away. So let's create more yellow flasks then for the God of Yellow Flask. Because that will make everything better. Uh, what else we can do? We are almost unlocking the new flask right now. Research is going. That's nice. I don't know why we can't unlock the new research. That sucks. Let's do those upgrades. Like They will help a little bit. Uh, yeah. So that increased our gain. We are really getting close to prestige right now, guys. And look at that. We research. Oh, we could start the research. Now we start the research and we will get the new flask in uh, some three minutes or so. I don't know why we can get that accelerator going, though. That's pretty annoying to be honest. While we wait, there is a do daily solitaire. Uh-huh. Separate solitaire. Let's go. Yes. Okay, um, uh, let's start the game, I don't want to, oh, nice, so that's, oh, that's a classic solitaire, nice, 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 uh, I don't know if you guys are interested in this, so I'll just go through this and we'll let you know when it will be over, so here's my first try, it ended with a failure, I've managed to do just that, that was bad luck, uh, let's 
settings simple cards of i don't know what's that auto win or oh, what's auto win hmm. uh let's end game because there is nothing to do try for a higher score so we got a few more tries let's go second try was way better but still not good enough so we got better score let's try again the last try i don't know what those things are we will see after the game like what's the, those diamonds are last try and guys there we go we solved the puzzle we solved the solitaire usually when you open those basic things and there is only one card on the right you should be okay so let's go do this we should be able to finish this right now i'm pretty sure about that so let's go bam uh bam just just gotta be careful not to overextend yourself and go one by one uh, auto win okay there we go we won we won we we finished so we got 11 diamonds return collect diamonds wait what uh let's load so we are actually when we're ending the game we are not in the game at all so let's see if we got diamonds for the upgrades let me in thank you yes we got diamonds for the upgrades which is actually really cool i really like that are those yeah we require golden ones for the next one let's upgrade the crafting again because like why the hell not read me please i love this game guys it just said here that i apps are optional and is meant to be paid to speed up the system so it's not paid to win probably there won't be any strong walls if it's right so it's really cool all right so we unlock the new flask and we can do the prestige can we no not yet but close close let's select one of those green ones so we will see how it will go that should boost everything quite a lot prestige is really close like um the requirement is to get enough energy basically and it's almost there and we are ready to prestige so without further ado let's go do the prestige how do we do this prestige cooldown ready requirements met yes prestige there we go so our speed will be three times faster and energy gains and crafting speed will be 1.33 obviously if we will get more stuff we will get better buff but i don't want to wait so i'll do prestige right now and bam we start from the scratch so this is how the game looks like when you just start out you research your first flask the red one bam you start crafting you upgrade things bam 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 pretty simple you get more of those and so on and so on and so on it's called fire Ooh, take a look at this guy something new i like this i like this uh so even better newer tier of upgrades we'll talk about this in the next video because right now we already overextended our time i think i don't i'm sure but i've been playing solitaire for a while so let me know in the comments how do you like this game. While you're going there, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, because this is the place for idle incremental games and you love those. I'm pretty sure about that, so you won't regret it. Check out the pinned comment in the video description for additional links for this Let's Play series if it will be there, and for anything that might be useful. Link tree for all my social media and that kind of stuff. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. That's about it for now. Stand Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.